Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com and in this tutorial we're going to look at adding another activity to our application. And uh, actually what I have it in mind to do is um, at the moment in this application we've got a place to enter notes here. But I want to make it so that um, these notes are, prote are protected by some sort of password system. And I'm going to make it so that what happens is you see an image and you have to um, touch certain points on the image in order to get through to this note application and see or edit your note. So with that in mind I'm going to start here by adding another um, activity and I'm going to make that other activity the main activity for the moment um, so that we can work on it. So um, in fact it's probably going to stay the main activity. So I'm going to go to, I'm going to right click my project here and go to new and let's go to other down here and I'm going to select under Android, Android activity and click next and I'll accept the defaults and I'm going to call this um, let's call this uh, I don't know initial or maybe image activity I'll call it image activity because um, this is going to display an image so um, the layout name is going to be activity image and I'm not going to I could select a nav navigation type here but I, I don't want one um, I'm just going to have a simple image on this activity for the most part and um, I think that's good so let's oh, we can always change it later let's click next and finish so now I've got this image activity here with the default hello world message in it and I'm going to now go to my uh, manifest so I'm going to scroll down here and go to Android manifest XML and I want this uh, at least for the moment to be the new main activity now for an activity to be the main activity it's got to have this um, I'm looking at the raw kind of XML view here and it's got to have this intent filter with this um, main thing here and this launcher thing here which has been filled in automatically and uh, at the moment my original main activity here uh, has, has got these and it's um, it's higher up in the XML than this new activity but if I delete the uh, main and launcher attributes attribute values here from my original main activity now um, this is going to become my new main activity because it has those attributes and it's the only one in the file that has them so let's save this and I'm going to just uh, select my project and click run and uh, later on we're going to look at how to trigger one activity from another which of course is a very important thing to do but for a while now I'm going to be working on this um, screen that kind of locks the note screen. So let's just take a look at the animator here. And there is my new image activity. So um, there's, a, there's a few things to do there, like um, give it a nice name and that sort of thing. Um, so uh, I've got this um, title activity image here. Um, is set for the um, title. If I go to my strings.xml um, we can find here title activity image and I can save it I can select set the um, title to something nice like um, I could just call it note squirrel for the moment really in fact I, I don't think I'm gonna display I'm not gonna display the title myself but I guess um, it will remain there anyway anyway that's it for this tutorial and until next time happy coding